hello <laughs> this is uh very interesting it is 14 minds of variance the second it is the demo as you can tell but uh yeah they, they made a second game um it's gonna be 14 more mind super variants which i assume are different from the original so before we get onto that let's just uh look at minesweeper once again we have minesweeper here oh, as you can see 200 out of 10. uh but how minesweeper works is that each clue has eight cells around it or up to eight cells and each clue will represent the number of uh, mines in the eight cells around it, so the number of flags you place. So, uh, some numbers can be hidden, okay, some numbers can be question marks, which can mean anything. Uh, and then we have all the everything, <laughs> all the how to play game, uh, how to play the game rules there. Anyway, yeah, so we have regular Minesweeper, which I think we should just go through first before we start playing. So, for example, this this three over here must have, you know, three mines next to it. Something simple like that. So we can start with this one and two here. If this is a two, then there is at least one mine in one of those cells, which would fulfill this one, and therefore none of these are mines. Also, because there's one mine here, the other mine for the two has to be there. This two just has two mines around it, and this three just has three mines around it. This three is now complete. Because there's one mine here, this three sees one mine here, one mine here, and so its third mine would be there. Uh, right, this four actually works very similar to this one and two here, because it must have two mines in these three cells. The three can only have one mine here, and because of the two mines here, there is at least one mine in those cells, which would complete the three. And that means that none of those are mines, and that that is a mine. The one over here means there's one mine in one of those cells, the 3 would then require this to be a mine to complete it. Uh, and we do know there's two mines remaining. The mine count actually also is very helpful here. Can I draw that? This mine count here, there's two mines remaining. We know there's one mine here as we said, but there's also one mine here, uh, which means that the last mine is not there. Well, I mean, there is no mine there because the two mines are already in those cells. So that's not a mine, meaning that has to be a mine. Those are not mines. This 3 tells us that our final mine has to be there, so that is not a mine. Uh, unlock new set. Well, yeah, the new set was already unlocked. But, uh, yeah, that's basically how Minesweeper works. And we can go, you know, do all the tough stuff over here, like a huge board. But let's not go into that. Let's just look at the new variants. So we got H and X, which are actually um, variants from the original Minesweeper variant game. So H used to be horizontal, but this one is 2H. Uh, X used to be cross, but this is now 2X, 2 cross. Oh, checkerboard colored. Very interesting. All right. <laughs> Let's just look at this. Uh, any mine must have a horizontally adjacent mine. So you can see here, every mine here must have at least one mine next to it horizontally. So this mine doesn't have anything next to it which doesn't work. This mine doesn't have anything which doesn't, which doesn't work. Alright, so those are th that's very simple, I guess. So let's talk about this one. Yeah, this one actually does help. It says that there cannot be a mine there. Because if there was a mine there, there would be no mine there. And this mine wouldn't have any partners. So that can't be a mine, which means that this is empty. I think the one actually does the same for those two cells. If any of those were mines, then the one beside it, which would not be a mine, which would uh, isolate it. So no, uh, none of those are mines either. This zero just means none of those are mines. So they can put a mine there, which must have a horizontal partner. Therefore, this must be a mine. Uh, this two now. Well, this one means there's one mine here. So the second mine for this two has to be there which now must have a horizontal partner, so that must be a mine. We also know from this one that there's one mine here, so there is no mine over here. This one is basically complete, so that's a mine which needs a partner, so there's a mine there. Three means those two are mines, which is fine, they, they, are, they are partners of each other. Uh, there's one mine here, and one mine therefore over here, because there's two mines remaining. But where does the mine go in here? It has to be here, right? If it was here, we know there's no mine there which would isolate it. So that's a mine, that's not a mine. Right, and this can't be a mine either, because a mine here would actually be isolated. So I guess you could just say that um, any two any two non-mines that are separated by a cell here must have another non-mine in it. Yeah, something like that. Uh, unlock the new set. Wow, you really don't need much to unlock new sets. You just gotta perfect one level. Okay. Let's, let's do a few more of the... Nah, actually no, you know what, let's just go to the higher difficulties. 
We know those are empty because uh, they have to be. This 1, 3 is a very common pattern in Minesweeper, because this is regular Minesweeper. So we can actually do that. There's one mine here, and one mine here, which has to therefore be in the center. 5 and 4, well, we have big numbers today. This one must have a partner. Uh, this 2 must have a mine there, which must have a partner. This 4 is complete. This 5, one of those are mines. I don't think we know. This 4 though means that that can't be a mine, because then uh, because then both of these would be non-mines which isolate it. Whoa. And the 3 there. Well, because of this 4, we know that there is one mine here. This 3 sees two mines so far. The third mine has to be... cannot be in the center, because again, by the same logic, it would isolate it. So there is no mine there. And therefore, there is one mine here. Therefore, the 2 cannot again have a mine there, because those will be non-mines, which are isolated. So it does form some sort of... Wow, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this one is actually completed by whatever mine is there, so none of those are mines. Which now, uh, which now falls back on itself and says one of those are a mine, so that's not a mine. Ooh, I did not think this was going to be this deep, but I guess the logic likes to bounce around. Uh, this 3 means those are non-mines. This mine must have a partner. This is no longer mine. This 5 is complete, so that is a mine which must have a partner. Uh, and we have one mine remaining, which actually cannot be any of those cells. So none of those are mines. Uh, it can't be that one either, because that would force us to be empty. Uh, and now, because... Yeah, this can't be a mine, because it wouldn't have any partner, so it has to be there. Hmm, I wonder if there's any more efficient way to think about what I just did. Okay, I have no idea what that was, but... H7... Uh, Alright, we're just going to keep going with bigger boards. 4. Right, now this 4 is actually almost the opposite of the 1s. With the 1s, we eliminated both of those cells, right? But with this 4 over here, we now know that both of these have to be mines. Because if any of them were non-mines, then the remaining cell uh, you know, next to it will be isolated. Same for here as well. So, kind of in opposite fashion, those are both mines. By default. Yeah. Not sure if we can say anything else about it. I think this two is the same as the four over here, where this must now be a mine. Because if it wasn't, then this one would be isolated. Hmm. And the three and the four. Alright, this does look like some... Oh wow, look at that. Okay, I, I kind of just realized, but the uh, puzzle ID actually got smaller. Um, in the original game, it was, five, uh, it was four digits or five digits. But now it's just a three digit number. I don't know if it's because it's a demo puzzle. But the ID is now way smaller. Alright, anyway. <laughs> uh, right, this 4 actually means that that just can't be mine. And this 2 now means that there's... Right, well now this 2 means that there can't be a mine here. Because that would make this empty and isolate it. So that can't be mine. 1... Mm. one a uh, 1 is very similar to a 1 in the corner, which means that this can't be mine. And this one, again, means that that can't be mine. There's one mine here, which completes this one. Zero is done, so there's a mine there which needs a partner. This two is complete, the four can be completed. Both of these need partners. So this four is now complete. Uh, this one here means one mine is here, which completes the three. This five has one mine in one of those cells. Which does something, it helps the three, I guess. I guess that means that now, like, this can't be mine, because if it was mine, it would be uh, forced to be isolated. Two. Hmm. Right. I mean, I can, I can tell you something about this two, then. There can never be a mine here, I think. Well, yeah, there can never be a mine here. Because you see, these two sets of, of squares, right, they're completely isolated. They do not touch mines on either side. Which means that if there were one mine in there, its only partner would need to be next to it. It cannot leech off a partner from, like, you know, somewhere here, because there is no such partner. And that means that wherever you put a mine in here, it has to have a partner somewhere. Which means that this can't be mine. Because if it was, then whichever thing you put here cannot have a partner anymore. So this can't be mine. Two, with one here. 
Hmm. I mean, the other one is there, right? Which means that the the the, the second mine for this tool here means this has to be there. Oh, and wherever it is, we need a second mine next to it. So if it's here, it needs a mine there. If it's here, it needs a mine there. Which means that this can never be mine now. So that's not mine. Okay. And this three... Yeah, this can't be mine because it's in between two uh, non-mines. So mine goes there. This three can now be completed. That is no longer mine. Two is done. Four can be done. This mine needs a partner. This three is complete. This two is... Uh, almost done, this 3 is done. Uh, this 2 here, this can't be a mine, so mine goes there. Uh, this mine needs a partner, which completes a 2. This 2 is done. This 2 needs a mine here, which then needs a partner. No mines remaining, so that's no longer mine. Nice. G. We have G now, look at that. <laughs> Group. Okay. Group. Cool, let's do one more horizontal, see if we can do anything fun with that. This is big, you know, I don't think I've seen a, a bot this big since I, since I last played, because uh, I was trying to, like, clear off all the 5x5s, five five but, uh, wow, alright. Interesting bot to start with. This 3 might be where we go. Yeah, alright, because this, this, this has to be a mine. If it wasn't, you would have a mine here, which is not, which is isolated, so there has to be mine. Uh, and in fact... In fact, what? I mean, there has to be some number of mines here, right? Right, there's at least one mine here uh, because the three cannot have both of these be empty. And if there's at least one mine here, then there's at most one mine there. And if th therefore, this can't be mine because if this was mine, then we know that there is at most one mine here that is no longer mine, which isolates this. So this, this now can't be mine. Uh, I think, is this similar? Yeah. This two actually means that there's at least one mine here. So once again, because of this two, there cannot be a mine here, otherwise you would isolate it. Okay, so this does seem to be a sort of recurring pattern along the edge of the grid here. And then we can do that once again to say that there is something there. Right, and now we can use the classic dual one pattern in Minesweeper. There is at least one mine here, which would finish off this one. So we can do that. This one means that's the mine. There is no mine there. Uh, both of these mines must have partners. This 2 actually is complete, which needs a partner. This 2 is complete. The 3 goes there. The 4 is done. The 5 has to have a mine here to complete it. Needs a partner. This 2 is complete. Alright, wow. Sweet. This 2 means that can't be mine, because that wouldn't have a partner. Uh, yeah. This 2 here is complete. 3 is complete. Oh, yeah, and you can also click uh, the clues themselves. I didn't actually say this, right? You can click clues themselves to... Uh, just automatically do what is trivial. This 4 here needs 2 mines in here. Uh, no idea what that means, but this needs a partner there. And now this 2 cannot have a mine there, because if it did, that would be a non-mine, which would uh, isolate it. So that's not mine. 3, uh, three is very similar. Yeah, this 3, 2, we saw the same logic with this 3, 2 means that this can't be mine. Now that 3... Well, that 3 means that has to be a mine, which now needs a partner, so that 3 is done. This 3 cannot be completed. This 5 is now uh, completable. This mine needs a partner. This 4 is complete. This 5 is also complete. 3 is complete. Okay. 6, 6 we can just do. 3 requires a mine there. This 2 is done. This now can't be a mine, otherwise it wouldn't have no partner. So that is no mine. 3 means that's a mine which needs a partner. And 0 mine is remaining, so very nice. Whoa, look at this. That's a cool pattern. Very cool pattern, yeah. I like it. Okay. That was great. That was uh, horizontal. I think in the original, the horizontal rule set was that any mines, uh, no two mines can be horizontally adjacent. So this is kind of like the opposite of that. Okay, next we have X or 2X. Clues represent the number of mines in the colored cells and non-colored cells, what? Oh, unordered, all right, so. Oh, we got 2P, next. Yeah, okay, okay, so this is a, uh, oh my gosh, cross. Uh, clues represent the, num the, the number of, why is this cross again though? Oh, because it's an X shape here. 
because in the original game cross meant like this plus sign uh, around the clue but no now clues represent the number of minds in the colored cells and non-colored cells in the eight neighboring cells so if this is one three that's one of one color and three of the other color which I will you know I'll call that black and white for convenience's sake uh, but it doesn't have to be in the right order so one could mean one black mine or one white mine three could mean three black white uh three black mines or three white mines as long as they mean different colors basically right so let's start off with this zero two first the two has to be for black because there there is uh you can't put two white mines here so there must be two black mines and therefore oh wow yeah look at that it it, it colors off the uh two but not the zero so the zero must mean uh white which means that's not mine Right, so 2-2 two, two here actually doesn't do anything for us. I mean, it does tell us there's 2 white and 2 black, but there is no differentiation. So it doesn't have to be either. Although, what I do know is that... Hmm. Yeah, what I do know is that there's 2 black, right? There's always 2 black and 2 white. So, there's 2 black, which is already fulfilled. So none of those are mines. This one is also 2 black, 2 white. And uh, that's why we can complete the, the, the black from that. <laughs> uh... Okay, and two white. Because there's two white, there's at least one mine here, which will now complete this uh, one over here. So we know one is referring to white, and zero is referring to black. Zero black means that's not mine. The one actually is fulfilled by that. So there's no mine there, and there is a mine there. Uh, so this two means two white. There's one white there, so there's one white here, which means something. Right. Uh, no. No, I don't think this tells us much, does it? Hmm. I mean, it does tell us one by one of those cells, but I don't think that's useful right now. Okay, let's think about this one. Well, okay, another thing you could say is that the total number of mines around this, in the eight cells around this, is actually the sum of these two numbers, right? Yeah, because uh, there's two black, and two white, so there's four mines around it in total. So for example, this one would have one mine around in total. This one would have one mine around in total, and wherever the mine is for this would fulfill this zero one here. So none of those are mines. Uh, and actually, I can now say that, yeah, because there's one mine here, there's no other white mine that can be. So the one must be referring to white, the two must be referring to black, so that's a mine. This one uh, means zero is for the white, 0, 2, well, there's already a mine in black, so 2 is the black one. That's not mine. One mine there, and there's 4 mines remaining, so all 3 of those are mines. This 0, 1 means that's not mine, so that's mine. Nice, okay. Slightly more complex, but not too challenging. Uh, Alright. So, 1, 1 over here means there's 2 mines here. This 1, 2 is 3 mines, so that has to be where the third mine goes. Uh, and we know because of the 1-1 one, one here, there's one black and one white mine. This 1-3... Right, the 3 cannot be referring to black because there's only two empty black cells. So 3 must be referring to white. There's only one white here, so the other two whites must have mines in them. Uh, therefore, the 1 is for black, which already has one mine there, so there's no mine there. Uh, this... Yeah, right. This 3 must also be referring to white. So those are all mines. This is no longer mine. Uh, and there's one mine here. This 0, 2, well 0 must be referring to white because there is already a mine in black. So those are both mines. The 0, 2 means one of those are mines. Therefore this 0, 2, the 0 must not ref be referring to white because there's already a mine somewhere in the black. So that is not mine. The 2 means that besides this mine here, that must also be mine. Uh, and because of this 2, there is always one mine here. This 1, 2 now, because there's a mine here and a mine somewhere in here, there's two mines in black. So the two we're referring to black, one is referring to white. Uh, this one is the white mine, therefore that's not zero one. Hmm. Well, the two here is referring to black. There's one here and one there, so that is not mine. One two. This one means there's one mine here. This uh, one two means there's three mines around it. So one mine here with the two mines already here means that's not mine. Zero three. Well, zero we know is referring to black because there's already a mine in white. So those are not mines. 3 means 2 mines in those cells. 1, 3? Well, 1, 3 is very simple. Just mark all of them as mines. So now this 0, 3 is complete. 
uh, this one, two, yeah, the two must refer to white because there's two white mines already. So the one is referring to black, that's mine, that's not mine. This zero one has that one black mine here, so that's not mine, meaning that's mine, meaning that's not mine, meaning that is mine. Alright, nice cascade. We know there's one mine here, there's one mine remaining, so none of those are mines. This two, two means there has to be a mine there, so there's no mine there. Done, nice. Sweet, alright. Uh, we got... 7x7, seven seven. let's just keep going. Zero, 02. Well, there is, a, there, is a, there is one white mine here, right? We know that because there is one of each. So there's one white mine, we need one of those are mines. I hope, I hope you can tell that this is like bridging over the black, so it's not pointing to black at all. I don't know if I should uh, tell you about the notation that I use. When I talk about mines that are uh, a distance apart, I always draw a pen, but when I draw a group of mines together, I use a straight line. So this line refers to all four, this bendy line refers to only this cell and this cell. Er, uh, okay, but anyway, we know there's one mine here because of the 1-1. One, one. This 0-2, therefore the 0 cannot be referring to white, so the 2 refers to white. And because there's one mine here, there has to be one mine here. But more importantly, there are 0 black mines, so none of those are mines. Uh, this 0, 1, the 1 refers to white, so 1 mine is there, smiley face. There is 1 mine over there as well. This 1, 1 means that there's 1 white mine around it. We know there's 1 white mine here, so that is not a mine. There is also 1 white, uh, one black mine here. Actually, these 2 mines would complete this 1, 1, so none of those are mines. Wow, we actually haven't marked a single mine yet. Uh, this 1, 1 over here, well, there's already 1 white mine here, so that's not mine. There's one white mine here. Uh, and now, there's two black mines. There's one black mine here, so the other black mine has to be there. There's one white mine here, so the other white mine has to be here. Uh, great. This one too. Well, one has to be referring to white, because there's only one white. So that is also mine. The two is referring to black, there's one black mine here, so the other black mine has to be there. Zero, three. The three has to be referring to black, because... Uh, there is not enough white cells, so those are all... What? Oh, I'm stupid. You see this mine, it sees that. Whoopsies. Alright. Restart, restart. Let me just... <laughs> Let me just get through all this stuff. Uh, well, what are we doing? Like that, right? And we had a mine here, 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 uh, here, here... Here, here, that's not mine. None of those are mines. This three means, well, we don't know, but we know that there's one mine there. That's a mine. Okay, so, yeah, this is where we were, I think. And then there's one mine here, I guess. Uh, Alright, so this is zero 03. It's either three black mines or three white mines. Right, and it can't be three black mines, because... The zero cannot be referring to white. The zero has to refer to black. So those are not mines. Those are both mines. Zero three here. Well, zero can't be referring to white again. So the three can actually be completed like that. This one two. Well, I guess by all these lines, we can say mines are there. This two here is already complete. So that's not mine. This one two. The two must be referring to white. So the, uh, so there is no mine there. The one has to mean one of those are mines. And because of the 2-2 two, two here, there's two black mines. One of them is here, the other one has to be there. There's two white mines already, so none of those are mines. 0-1. Well, that's where the mine goes for black, so none of those are mines. 0-2. Uh, 0 can't be referring to black, so it's referring to white, meaning that's mine. 2-2. Uh, two, two. Well, there's two white mines, and the only other white square is there. Uh, from this 2 here, we know there's one mine over here. This two, therefore, would be fulfilled by this mine and the mine over here, so that's not mine, meaning that is mine. This one, well, this one's just completable, so we can uh, do everything else based on the lines we drew. This one, one, already has one black mine, so that's not mine. Oh, and we're done. <laughs> cool. Uh, we got six mine remaining and six empty cells, so all of them are mines. Nice. Okay. Well, that was fun. You see all the lines I drew? crazy. Okay, next up we have, well, we have P. Oh, product. P used to be called partition, but uh, okay. Eight. Uh, alright. 
So cross again. Both of these have the same number of mines around them, meaning all of those are non mines. That's a very classic regular minesweeper trick. 2 3. Well, 2 3 is 5, so all of them are just mines. Thank you for that. Oh, actually, this 0 2 means it's either both black or both white. Uh, and this 0 2 over here means that the 0 must be referring to black because there can't be two black mines around it. So that's no longer mine. This 0 2 is something we don't know. This one one maybe? No. Alright, well I can say that that is not mine. Uh, and the reason why is because this zero two is completed in two different ways. You can either have a mine here or here, or a mine here or here. Uh, and the reason why is it's either because these are both mines, or these are both mines, right? Which means that it's either these are both mines or these are both empty. So these are both empty or these are both mines, basically. And if they were both empty, then the 2 can only apply to black, which means that this is not mine. But if they were both mines, then the 2 must apply to white, which means that's not mine. So this can never be mine. 0, 3. Uh, 0, 3 means... Well, it can't be 3 black, because 3 blacks will put 2 blacks beside this cell, which doesn't work. So it has to be 3 whites. Now, because of this zero, none of those are mines. This, are, because of this one, that's mine. That's not mine. That's not mine. This two is complete, so those are non mines, and then th therefore those are both mines. One one over here means there's one black, and one white, which we can do. This one two here means that, or well, we don't know. It's one black and two white, or the other way around. So one of those are mines. Right. This one one over here though, we know there is uh, one white, so that's not white. Uh, that's not mine. <laughs> there you go. This two two over here. Well, we know how 2 2 works. That's not mine, and those are both mines. 2 4. Wow, that's not something you see every day. Uh, this 2 4 means that both of those are mines, to so complete that. This 2 means that that's not a mine. This 3 means there's 3 white, so that is a mine, and 3 black, so one of those are mines. Uh, okay. This 0 2 here. Well, the 2 must be referring to black because there's already a mine there. So white has 0. This one means that's mine, therefore, that's not mine. 1, 3. Well, you can't have 3 white mines around it, so it must be 3 black mines. That's therefore mine, that's not. 1 is complete by this mine, so that's not mine. 1, 4. Well, you can't have 4 black mines around it, so it's 4 white mines. This 1, 3 now. Uh, 3 has to be for white, because you can't have 1 white mine around it. Meaning 1 is for black, which is complete, so those are not mines. 0, 1. Well, 0, 1 means the 1 is for white, the 0 is for black, so that's that happens. 1, 4 means the last mine is there. 1, 3 means that the 3 has to be for the white, because the uh, 1 can't be for white anymore, so that's mine. Then there's one mine here. This 1, 3 means that that's mine. Uh, 1, 2 means one mine here, and therefore, because there's one mine here, one mine there, two remaining mines, those are both non-mines. Or those are all non-mines. This 1, 3, you can't have three white mines, so 3 is for black. Those are both mines, those are both non-mines. Nice. That was cool. Okay, well, uh, new variants. That was cool. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we got group next. Right. Each contiguous mine region is of size 4. Interesting, interesting. Right, so contiguous mine regions refer to like regions in which mines are touching each other by like the edges of cells basically. So you have tetrominoes of size 4. And uh, tetrominoes or, or shapes of other sizes are not allowed, but they just have to form a shape of 4. They can touch diagonally though, this is fine, this is not considered contiguous. Or continuous? Wait, I thought... did I read wrong? Oh, it is continuous. I'm like... Okay, because continuous should mean the same thing. I don't know why I'm doing this. Right, but otherwise it's just regular minesweeper. So this zero means those are all non-mines. Uh, those are both non-mines. One here means one of those are mines, which fulfills this one, so none of those are mines. Right, and we might start seeing some unique logic here. One of those are mines, right? And therefore, I think this has to be a mine, because it must escape out somehow to make a region of four. There is one mine here, even if both of these were mines, then this area could only have three mines in them. The fourth mine in its continuous region must be there. 
So this must be mine. And I think that's also mine. Because if this wasn't mine, then whichever mine he is here cannot form a region of 4. So that's also mine. This 2 now helps the 3, because the 2 has to have at least one mine there, which would complete the 3. So that's not mine, and that is... Right, and now because of this non-mine over here, we know that um, all 4 mines in this region have to be in here. There's only one mine there. So the 4th mine in this continuous mine region has to be here. Uh, and I think any of these are fine for now. Right, so this mine over here does tell us that I don't think that can be mine, because you can't form a region of 4 that reaches this cell, so that's not mine. Hmm. Hmm, okay. One mine here. Wow, you can actually do stuff with this. This mine? Yeah, this can't be mine. If it was mine, then this just cannot be mine. And therefore, how would this reach this in 4 cells is not possible. So this can't be mine. 4, which means those are all mines. Well, that does give us the entire region, so those are all non-mines. This too is complete, so the last mine goes there. Oh, this is fun. I think this is fun. Yeah, I think this is quite fun. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's keep going. The one here... Well, um... I think those are all non-mines, right? And and to prove why is if they were mines, they have to be blocked in on both sides because of the one, which will no longer form regions of size four. So those are all non-mines. I think this one also is non-mine because of the three here blocking it. This one means that is mine, which completes the one. This three, well, this one must reach outwards to continue forming its group. Three. Uh, this this one here means one mine is there. So this 2 means there is no mine here. 3... Mm, no idea. 3, we know there's one mine here though. I'm, I'm just saying that technically that works, because you could have this be a shape that looks like that. Although, no, I don't think so, wow. Alright, <laughs> I don't know if this is bifurcating, but this can't be a mine. If it was, then this one would have to form its region of 4 that looks like this. And this is very interesting because this cell, this region, now has to form its region like that. Right, that's the only way it can, it can only grow out like this. But that breaks the 3 because there will be 4 mines around it. So I don't think this can be mine, which means that is mine. Now this can't be mine, it can't be mine because reaching out would make a region of 5. 2 means that is mine, that forms a region of 4, which means those are all non-mines. Oh, I think that's cool. If you make a region of 4, everything around it becomes non-mine anymore. This 3 means one of the mine goes there, that completes the 4, so that's not mine. This 3 can be completed like this, that's no mine. This mine must extend out, that's not mine. This 3... Well, these 3 can't all be mines, otherwise you form a region of 5. So there must be a mine there, that's not mine. This one must extend. This 2 is complete. This 4 means those are both mines, which completes your region of 4. This 3 means that is mine. This 3 means that is not, so that is mine to complete the region of 4, that's not mine. There you go. Oh, unlock a new set, 2 Gs, oh, 7x7, seven seven, yeah. Alright, great. Uh, let's keep going. 0, sweet. I love my zeros. 1 means that's mine. 1 means there's one mine there, completing the 2. 2, well this one must extend out, right? So this 2 means none of those are mines, meaning that's mine which must then extend out. This 2 means those are non-mines. This one must then extend out again. 3. 3 means 1 mine in there. Does that break? I don't know. Well, okay, I can say that is not mine, because if it was mine, Basically, you, you, so you know this region has to escape in some direction. It hasn't reached its 4 yet. So it has to either do that, or do that. And whichever way it goes, you cannot reach this cell. And putting a cell here, or putting a mine here, would prevent both of these cells from being mines either. Otherwise, you get a region of 5. So that can't be mine. Which helps, because we again know that it extends in one of those directions. So none of those are mines. 
one here means one of those are mines, that completes this one, so that's not mine. There you go. Now this two and this three work together. This two means there's at least one mine there, which will complete the three, so there's no mine there. There is a mine there. Uh, this one must now escape outwards, forming your region of four like this. One here is done. Three means that, well, two of those are mines, but I don't know which. Uh, okay. We know, uh, we don't know if one of these are mines or not. Three though. Uh, I mean, if this was mine, right, then this is not mine, you'd have to reach out like that. This three would be complete, you'd have to reach out like this, and you can't go here to make a region of five, so you would have to do that. But that looks fine by me, I think. This three could have mines here and here, and then wherever the fourth mine is doesn't really matter, I could do something like that. Could do something like uh, something something something. Ah, all right. This can't be mine. Cool. If this is mine, then by this one, that's not mine. This three would have to do this, and now this can't grow outwards because if it did, it would have to make a region of five. So this can't be mine. Okay. Thanks for nothing. Well, this can't be non-mine then. If it was non-mine, then this has to be a mine to fulfill the three, which would then isolate itself. So this has to be mine. Uh, I think that means this can't be mine. Well, no, it could. Well, could it? I don't think so. Hmm. That's weird, I don't know how to explain this logic behind it. I think there's a few steps we need to consider first. This can't be mine. If it was mine, how would we do it? Well, let's start considering where this 3 has its next mine. If it's here, then we do this. And now, this has to have a mine here which fills up the entire region. Right, and this 3 is now broken because of that. So, if this was a mine, this would not be a mine then this would have to be a mine. But that also breaks because... Uh, yeah, if this is mine, again, it uh, fulfills the region, which means that... And now this three needs some mines here, which cannot fill four. Yeah, so I think that just means this can't be mine. Don't know if there's something more elegant I can do, but that's not mine. Alright, that was probably something more elegant. If it doesn't give me progress, it's probably something else. <laughs> Is it this? Maybe. Yeah, I think this has to be mine. If this isn't mine, then this being mine over here would make this a non-mine, which breaks. So this has to be mine, right? And then what? I mean, there are a few ways to make this happen. You could do something like this. Or you could do something like this. Hmm. Do we look at remaining mines? Yeah, maybe let's look at that. Remaining mines. This does form one group. This forms a separate group, right? We know these cannot connect. Definitely not. Uh, so... What that means is, because there's one mine here, there will be two mines more in this group, there will be one mine more in this group, that forms... Oh, three mines more in this group, sorry. So there's one here, there's two here, and then there's three here. That forms all six. All six remaining mines. So there cannot be any more sets of four. And because none of these sets can ever reach this cell, we know that is not mine. Yeah, because this one can't reach, it will take five. So that can't be mine. Okay, thank you for nothing again. My goodness. Hmm. This one maybe? And again, couldn't we do something that looks like this? Hmm. 
all, all this. This? Does this break? No, I don't think so. Hmm, it all seems to work out. So there's something I'm missing. Oh, there's one mine here. I think that's something I'm missing with that. Right, because there's one mine there, that will form three. Which means that it can't actually reach those cells either. Yeah, yeah. It can't reach those cells with its fourth cell in this region. So those are non-mines as well. Okay, there you go. Zero. Now those are mines. Uh, this is supposed to help. Okay, one of those are mines, right? Right, and if one of those are mines, where is the fourth one? The fourth one has to be here, I think. It can't be here, because then it would already connect to that, so it doesn't work. And it can't be here, for the same reason, it will connect to that, which doesn't work. So the fourth mine has to be there. This one, this region... This region has to take up both of those cells, because there's only two mines here. Oh, yeah, this thing over here has two mines in it. So it needs two more mines to make up four. And it can't be those two, it, it can't have this one, because then it will connect all of them. So it has to be those two. Which then means that is not a mine. So that's mine, that's not mine, that is mine. This two means that is mine, that is not mine. Oh, whoa, this one was way tougher than the rest. Okay. Let's do one more. G8. Okay, they, they, they do all have a hundred. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Okay, big board again. This zero is trivial. This two is also trivial. This one and this two work together as one mine there. None of those are mines. This zero is very trivial. Wow, okay. So that is a mine which has to grow outwards. This three is therefore complete. This set must grow outwards to give us our first region of four. Uh, I think this has to be a mine for this four. There's two mines in those three cells. This can't be empty, otherwise this would be uh, isolated. So this has to be a mine. Zero here is trivial. Zero that is also trivial. This set of four must therefore grow outwards, which gives us a second set. This two means one of those are mines. Don't know what that means. Hmm, does this work similarly? E no. I was saying that, can this be non-mine? Yeah, it can, because your region could look like that. Hmm. Alright, so this is where we start. Uh, that's 20 mines total, which gives us five regions. I think we should keep that in mind, because that's what we used in our previous uh, puzzle. Anyway, there's one mine here which gives us... which gives us uh, two mines in this region so far, so we need two more. Where would those be? Alright, I can tell you that I don't think that is a mine. No, I think that... Isn't isn't that... I, I think that is a non-mine. Wait, 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 hold on. If it's... Oh, this one maybe? No, wait, hold on, yeah. If this is mine, then this isn't mine. Then this will have to go out here, which finishes a 2. This four can only finish like this, and now this doesn't work. This set here cannot grow out, otherwise it will be a region of five. So this this can't be mine, which means the two does that. The four is done. This two is complete. So this region must grow out to here, which gives us our third region. This two is done. This one has one mine there, and there's one mine here, and there's one mine here, and there's one mine here. And that does something, apparently. Uh, okay. Let's see. If there's one mine here, I'll say, can you draw, can we draw some way to see if we can fulfill this? Uh, and I want to say... Oh there's, two, there's, oh, there's two regions remaining. Sorry, not three. I was trying to fit three regions in here. I was like, that doesn't feel right. Uh, it's technically possible if you do something like 
Uh, oh, it's actually not possible at all, is it? Oh, it is possible if you do something like this, but uh, that fails a lot. So no, it's not three regions, it's two regions. You've got to put in two more regions. Right, maybe that is like the bigger picture. We've got to find a way to fit in two regions to satisfy this. Uh, if you don't already know that... Uh, if you don't already know... Uh, uh, regions of size 4 can only fall into a few shapes. It can be uh, the square, it can be the uh, long thing, the I, the O, the I. It could be the T. Uh, it could be, you know, the L or the J, which are just flipped versions of each other. It can be the S or the Z, which are just, again, flipped versions of each other. So it's one of these seven shapes. Or two of them. Which seems like a lot of choices, but maybe that helps somehow. Don't know. Alright, so... I want to say... <laughs> going by meta logic, there should only be one way to fit in... Well, there doesn't have to be one way. There doesn't have to be one way, yeah. Because you could do something like this, you could do something like that. Okay, so it doesn't have to be one way. I was going to say by meta logic, there has to be only one way to fit in two tetrominoes to fulfill this, but no, there's multiple ways. Um, I, I think I'm distracting myself here. Yeah, I think I'm distracting myself. Okay. There is one mine here and one mine here. Are they part of the same thing? Yes, because... Well, I guess more likely to say is that this one and this one have to be different regions because they cannot connect in five cells. Oh, they cannot connect in four cells. And this one and this one are also in different regions because they cannot connect in four cells. So these two have to be part of the same tetrominal then. So they have to connect to each other somehow. Which I think means that therefore this cannot be mine. If it was mine, then this is not mine. So how would this connect wherever this is? It's not possible. So that means that this has to be where the mine goes. There you go. This is no longer no mine there. Three means those are nine mines. And therefore the last mine has to be here to connect it to wherever the mine here is, you know. Hope you get hope you get what I mean. So that is mine, which gives us our almost done. Okay, now what? <laughs> uh, again... Again, one of those mines... Uh, one of those uh, one of those are mines, one of those three are mines, and I think it has to be where they intersect. And the reason why is because if it was like this, then this would be empty, and how would this ever reach over to here? We need at least five cells. Whoa. So what that means is that I think the mine has to be there. Sure. This three cannot be completed. That is not mine. Did I mark it as mine? Oh my goodness. I marked it as mine, didn't I? <sighs> okay. Well, give me a bit here. I was going to quickly finish all of this up. Uh... And then we did this, and then we said that this has to be where the mine is, which gives us all that. And then we, uh, and then we said that this has to be the mine. That's non-mine. This three is done. This is non-mine. Right, because well, no, this one is complete. So that is mine. That is not mine. All right. I think I was just being careless. But there you go. I like this. I mean, it, it's a very tidy uh, variant. So that's cool. Right, and we got one more variant to go here. Yeah, one more to go. So let's do that one. We got product. Clues represent the product of distances to the nearest. What? Is this the, is this a square root one? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's the square root one. Clues represent the product of the distances to the nearest two mines. Oh my god, we have to do this, aren't we? Right. So let's let's see if we can figure this out. This one here has two of the mines nearest to it. And the distance in terms of 
uh, number of units, there is one unit here and one unit there, which means that the product will be 1 times 1, which is 1. This root 2, uh, by a Pythagorean theorem, the distance between this one and the diagonal mine next to it is a... Uh, is a... Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> by Pythagorean theorem, th this is one unit here, this is one unit here, so the distance here is actually square root of 1 square plus 1 square, which is 2, therefore the distance here is square root of 2. The distance here is 1, and you multiply that, you get 1 times square root 2, which gives you square root 2. This root 5, uh, this diagonal one over here is square root of 1 square plus 2 square, that is square root of 5. This is 1, so you have square root of 5 times 1, which is square root of 5. This square root of 10, this we know is a root 2, and this we know is a root 5. So multiplying that together, which will uh, will give us uh, multiplying that together will give us uh, root ten. Root two times root five is root ten by that one certain rule that we were supposed to learn in school. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. This is. Oh my. Look at this nonsense. This is one. This is two. So this is one times two, which is two. Fair enough. This is special because this is this is two here. This is two here. So, uh, sorry, this is root 2, this is root 2, multiply those together and you get 2. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this. What, what is, what is this? Uh, I can, I can, I can probably, alright, actually let's look at, let's look at the thing again. This 2 root 2 might help us, because how is this formed? A 2 root 2 has to be a 2 times a root 2, right? Because, let's do the math here. Do I, have a, do I have a pen where I can draw or, or like write? Hold on, I need to go find it. Is it this? Yeah, it is. Alright, so uh, let's do math. 2 root 2. 2 root 2. How would we write it in full cert form? This would have to be... Which is 8. Yeah, so this is either... This is either... This is either 2 times root 2. Or, it's... Oh, I should not draw the slash there. Or, it's 1 times root 8. Right, okay, but the problem is, the problem is this doesn't work. Because it, it, how would you form root 8 as the as the answer to like some Pythagorean triangle? You can't have it be the sum of two squares. 8 is not like... You know, 8 is not... Well, I mean it is... Uh, wait, no, it's 2 squared plus 2 squared. Oh, so so this two root two, it's possible that it's a mine here, and then a mine that is two and two away. So it's definitely possible for something like this, ignoring all the other numbers here. It's definitely possible for a setup like this to give you two root two as your answer. Yikes! But but way more likely, it's something that looks a bit more like uh this, where you have a two here. You have a 2 here and you have a root 2 there. Oh, okay, I don't like- I don't know if I like this one. You know, um, in the, uh, store page, in the store page, they actually had this, uh, preview of the root 10. They- they showed us that root 10 was a- Did something happen? Oh, I opened up some weird thing. Okay, oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh wait, hold on, what, what is this? Oh, it only gives you the 4,000 around it. Okay, no, in the store page, it, it showed us that root 10 was actually one of the possible mine, uh, uh, possible rules. And everyone was trying to wonder, like, what, um, everyone was trying to wonder what those rules, what that root 10 meant. And everyone sort of knew that it had to mean distance, because that's the only way you get square root as your, uh, rule type. But uh, there were a lot of different theories, I think, which was like uh, the distance at which there are the most mines, or like the nearest distance at which the mine exists. Uh, my guess was that it is the product of a certain distance times the number of mines in that distance, which is wrong now that you look at it, but I think that was pretty close. It's the product of a number 
times uh, the number of my uh, the number of mines times the distance the mine is away from it. So I don't know something like two root two would mean that there is two mines a distance of root two away from it, you know, which means that both of those are mines, or it could mean there is one mine that uh, that is uh, you know that distance away, but no 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 uh okay. Let's 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 actually solve the puzzle for real now. I've been putting it off because I didn't want to solve it, but uh, all right. So let's start with this one. How would we fulfill that one? The one has to be one times one, right? That I think I don't think there's any other way to do it. One is always just one times one. Uh, because a square root would require you to multiply with a reciprocal to get one. And we know reciprocals suck. This, this sucks. Uh, so what that means is uh, the one has to have one mine, uh, has to have two mines here. But I don't think that says anything about those two cells, unlike in regular Minesweeper, because those cells are no longer the nearest mines to it, which means it doesn't count those whether there are mines there or not. Okay. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna try to make another video about this where I go into more detail here. Yeah, so I'm not gonna solve this one. Uh, this is just gonna be a preview. I'm not gonna solve this. I'm happy with solving the rest of the variants so far, but this one I think deserves the most attention. So I'll try and make a full-on video about this, right? Uh, like, you know, I'll try and make a full-on video about this. I'm also a bit tired and I don't want to do the math here, so... Yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the variants. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.